This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2018. Acute syndesmotic injuries often require surgery. In order to restore function and minimize post-traumatic osteoarthritis, the surgeon must restore the alignment of the ankle mortis and prevent future separation or diastasis of the tibia and fibula. Various surgical techniques are available for syndesmotic injuries. Cortical syndesmotic screws rigidly stabilize the tibia and fibula and may not be the optimal way to restore tibiofibular alignment and ankle function. The suture button is an alternative that allows tibiofibular motion while still resisting joint separation. A team of researchers from two Norwegian hospitals sought to compare these two surgical techniques in stabilizing an acutely injured syndesmosis. 97 patients with syndesmotic injuries were randomly assigned to receive stabilization with either technique, a quadricortical screw or a suture button. For screw stabilization, a single screw was placed just above the tibiofibular joint. For button stabilization, a suture button was used. Both groups were allowed partial weight bearing at two weeks and full weight bearing after six weeks. Routine screw removal was planned for 10 to 12 weeks after the surgery, whereas the suture buttons were not routinely removed. The patients with button stabilization had better clinical outcome scores better radiographic results, and less pain with walking than did patients with quadricortical screw stabilization. There were more patients with malreduced syndesmosis in the screw group, as the difference in tibiofibular distance was higher among these patients after two years. For acute injuries to the syndesmosis, these results support the use of a suture button over a single quadricortical screw to facilitate better outcomes and better reduction of the tibiofibular joint.